citizens $1.3 million that wasn't budgeted, but it never was approved by the board to even build on our property. That's Village of Dalton property. So when you build on Village of Dalton property, you need approval. So that's... So, so $1.3 million ice rink never got, it was never voted on? No. She just kind of unilaterally decided to go forward on it? Yes. So you see it's still going down. It's still going down. So now she's under investigation for taking $1.5 million and building that ice skating rink without permission from the trustee board. And we know that the feds see this. We know that Lori Lightfoot see this. This is why Lori Lightfoot wanted to stay and investigate because when she came in, she already seen a bunch of stuff. You can't do spend that kind of money without getting approval from the board. She's not. She telling the board, screw them. I'm going to do me. I want to do me. And, and, you know, this is why you see the public battles with her and the uh, the board of trustees. And it's a travesty in what she's doing. And, again, like I told y'all, it, it gives the black community a black eye because you got her. You got now this mayor over in, in, in Harvey and the mayor in New Orleans. And everybody's looking at, like, the in, so-called ineptness of black leadership and the Democrats. So, man, it's, it's, it's just horrible. But uh, former trustee uh, Edward Steve, he had trustee uh, Tammy Brown on the show. And she was giving insight as to what's going on on the inside uh, of, of, you know, Dalton uh, politics. And it went something like this. Check this out. It's something lawsuits. And I'm sure that 36 are on her watch yep. from yep. looking back at the, the spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. And uh, who, who fires a person on FMLA? Who fires a person because I didn't want to, I came back from FMLA yeah. and I didn't want to take the shift that you provided for me. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of these things could have been worked out mm -hmm. if you had just set the person down and say, hey, we can't do this, but what is it that we can do for you mm -hmm. to make sure that you are still employed here? We never did that. Yeah. We, we, we never did that. We never tried to work with our employees, you know, and, and, I, and I seen that coming in. If you do good by your people, your people will do good by you. Mm -hmm. So now I want to go into, you remember, um, after we, we did the recall, even though we were successful, she really turned up into just spending money doing a bunch of stuff. So she started turning everybody against the trustees. So you, them board meetings would be so hard because she would just be lying and say the truth. She would, what, what I always say is that she would spend it, then bring it to the board and say, pay for it. And then when we say no, the trustees don't want to get your trees cut. They don't want the streets done. And for, for a while, that was, she, that, was, that was really going in her favor. It did. But now... That is not going in her favor now because people, she's got caught in so many public lies. Like the guys that say on news, you pretty much really can't believe nothing that comes out of her mouth. Absolutely. What was that like at the beginning when that, when them board meetings, you, she used to fill the crowd up and just dog us out, people coming at you, dogging us out. What was, what was that like? What was, what was oh, going gosh. through your mind? That was like going into the lion's den <laughs> with no ammunition. <laughs> Seriously. Right. You would have to stay prayed up to go to those board meetings and sit there and take those beatings. That was not a good feeling no. going into there. Definitely have to pray before and after yeah. going into those board meetings. It was not a good feeling. Yeah. And it was very stressful at, at, at some point in time. Yeah. Yeah. Very stressful. I would dread when Monday morning comes. Yeah. Monday morning. I would dread it yeah. because it's like, I know I'm going to battle. Yeah. Put on your boxing gloves. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to have one hell of a fight mm -hmm. when you go to that board meeting. Yeah. Especially when it doesn't have to be. But that's what the leader wants. She wants to fight. That's, that's, that seems like her, that's her comfort zone. Yes. You know? And so what's, the, what's your thoughts now? Because you can see the tide turning. Oh, gosh. And it is, it is, it is, it is like, if the, what just, just had this township meeting. This, the people are seeing through it, the and the people are, are standing up, and the they're seeing are. through it. What, what does that feel like now? Uh, victory. Yeah. Victory. Yeah. Victory is coming. It's only coming. a matter of time. It's coming. It's a matter of time. Now that the people see for themselves, uh, they will always say, well, the trustees. It's the trustees. The trustees don't want to pay the bills. The trustees don't want to work with me. Yeah. Yeah. Not true. None Not of true. it. Not of now the people see yeah. that it wasn't the trustees. Yeah. It's you, Mayor. Yeah. yeah.
It's yeah. you. I remember two years ago, a lady seen me, and she was kind of like, I was telling her, I said, we don't trust her. This is, I was running it down to her. And she was kind of chiding me, y'all need to work with her. I think you need to work. She's doing some great things. I've seen her this past election time. She stopped. She said, look, I was wrong. Oh, yeah. You got to get this girl. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, Ed? A lot of people, you even had people that voted for her, yeah. that believed in her, yeah. that she can turn this village around. And now those same people that you see was like, oh, my God, I regret voting for her. So as you can see, she talked about um, how things used to be, you know, um, you know, going in, going into the office and how it's almost impossible trying to work with this woman. You know, when you come in, when you come into the office on Monday, it's going to be a fight. She's just overly defiant. She's firing people. She's just doing things her own way. She has her own regime and they're corrupt and they've been getting called out for a while, man. But she wasn't the only one that was calling out uh, Tiffany Hayward again. Kiana Belcher, Dalton uh, trustee, went to Fox 32. And I told you guys, you got the, uh, uh, Ben Bradley with WG, uh, WGN News Chicago. You got Fox 32. You got the, um, uh, I don't know all the, all the Chicago uh, uh, news stations, but <clears throat> all of them are investigating her with the feds, with the State Department, with everybody else. So people say what's taking so long, just slow down. Don't be in a rush. They take their time. They do everything slow and precise. So that way, when they get you, they got you. But let's look at what Kiana Belcher told Fox 32 when she went on the news uh, to sit down with them for an interview. Check this out. Here in the studio, we are joined by Village Trustee Kiana Belter, one of the four that voted against Mayor Henyard to reinstate that investigation. First, what went through your mind when you saw that chaos? Um, I was a little disappointed, but the residents are fed up. It's been ongoing. This is ongoing into our third year, and we have contacted many um, officials over Dalton, the state's attorney, the attorney general. And it's like we can't get any help. And right now, it's, the residents are fed up. You know, that is one thing I heard from some of the residents, that uh, where is attorney general Kwame Raul? Where is state's attorney Kim Fox? Where are they? Yes, um, I don't know. We do know that uh, residents have sent letters, made phone calls. The elected officials have sent letters, made phone calls. It's not, we're not getting any help. Well, you are getting some help from former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. You and your colleagues voted to reinstate this investigation that Lightfoot's going to do. So what, what is she going to have the authority to look into? So the ordinance covers um, the 2023 trip to uh, Las Vegas. Um, it covers some ARPA funds, some financial information, just because we believe that there's a lot of misappropriations of funds and commingling. And um, it was bought to us that an internal investigation was done with the allegations of the um, trustee that is accused of the conduct, the misconduct, but the board never received anything. We want documentation because we may be at a point where the citizens and the board can press charges. Press charges, like, well, what kind of charge? Because, you know, one thing the citizens also say is they're angry at the police chief, her hand-picked police chief, who just kind of protects her. So, so how, how, how are you going to bring well, law enforcement into this? Well, we're, that's why we're working with uh, former Mayor Lori Lightfoot, because if we can get documentation knowing that there has been some uh, misappropriations and legal that we have proven facts, then we'll, we'll be a, we may be able to do some things. Would this be like a lawsuit? Um, a lawsuit, or if we can go criminal, we'll do it. So criminal charges. It, we, we do know, though, that she is facing a criminal investigation from the FBI. What do you know about this investigation? She's been subpoenaed for many documents. Yes, um, all we do, we have just know what the public knows, really, that the federal subpoenas have come down. And in a lot of those subpoenas, they're asking about financial issues and misconduct and kickbacks. So there's a lot of things and, going on. And if folks, I, I urge uh, them to watch the drama in Dalton uh, uh, piece that we have on our Fox local app. Dane Placco has reported on a lot of this stuff. The trip to Vegas that she billed as economic development. Uh, other trips that she's bringing her bodyguards on, billing the taxpayers for uh, cars, security detail. Um, what other things uh, are, uh, you, do you want people to know about some of this possible misconduct? Um, actually, if you want to say theft of land. 
Um, that ice rink that was paid by the citizens, $1.3 million that wasn't budgeted, but it never was approved by the board to even build on our property. That's Village of Dalton property. So when you build on Village of Dalton property, you need approval. So that's... So, so $1.3 million ice rink never got, it was never voted on. No. She just kind of unilaterally decided to go forward on Yes. It. So as you can see, she's been spending money without, we all know, she's been spending millions of dollars. Millions of unaccounted for dollars without getting permission from the Board of Trustees, who's supposed to okay on this, because the Board of Trustees um, and, and, not, and the mayor work for the, the uh, residents of Dalton. And the trustees are supposed to oversee and handle the books and make sure that um, everything is cool. They got to sign off on a lot of the money that the mayor is spending. And I told you guys that this situation has been corrupt. Um, the whole thing is corrupt. It, it's, it's sad from Thornton Township, uh, the mayors and the uh, politicians there, all the way to Dalton. And I, I, I guarantee you, the feds is doing a thorough investigation of Thornton, past and present, going free, going uh, to the future, and uh, 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 Dalton. There, because when you do the investigation, you have to find out how did it get here. Uh, prior to her coming here, what was the administration like? So they have to do a full. Uh, analysis, a thorough investigation as to how things got this way. Not just come in and just look at the picture you see. Because in order to eradicate the problem, you got to go to the source of the problem. So that's why it's taking so long because you have years and years and years of corruption that needs to be dealt with. For her to brazenly just spend $1.5 million and build an ice ring right there without getting permission? How is she going to explain this? And uh, 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 all of these trustees is calling her out for what it is, man. This thing, this thing is going to get real interesting uh, uh, real soon. And I tell, I, I implore people to be patient because it's coming. It's coming. She's going to get hers, man. I mean, you know, um, I'm going to cut this video short right here, man. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. And y'all remember, man, y'all remember all the things that she's been doing. So just wait till this next video I got on, on, on what else she's done. But um, hit that like button, subscribe to Street Media TV, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And remember, I love y'all. Till the next time, peace.